I basically wanted to, if I could sum up, basically, I was talking about the issue of uh, GBM. This issue that she, you have GBM convicted today was an issue that started in 2013 when GBM was the defense minister. It came as a result of uh, the conflict that existed between GBM and Winter Kavimba. Winter Kavimba accused GBM of giving himself contracts. GBM accused Winter Kavimba of influencing a contract to give Transfigura uh, a contract to uh, 500, 500 million dollars to supply petrol and diesel. At the end of the day, Sata wrote a letter to the Anti-Corruption Commission. Can you investigate these two and give me a report? Anti-Corruption Commission gave back a letter, gave back a report to Sata to clear the two that there was no corruption that was done. Unfortunately, a, of course, Sata died. GBM went to UPND and he campaigned for Haka Inde Ichilema vigorously. He went everywhere in the country to campaign for GBM or for, for Haka Inde Ichilema. He even put in a lot of resources. I can bet that among Zambians, there is GBM is the is is the one who spent more money on UPND like any that unlike anybody else among Zambians I think GBM is number one and my question is at that point if Baka in the Ichirema knew that GBM was corrupt why did why did he allow him to join UPND and not just to make him a senior member but he made him vice president and ran with him in an election. And I'm asking today, if GBM was still in UPN, in UPND, would he be facing these charges? The answer is no. And why no? Because even at that time, people were busy accusing GBM of many things, and Haka Inde Ichilema was defending him. But GBM left Haka Inde Ichilema. And to me, that was a sin that GBM committed against Haka Inde Ichinem. Because soon after that, Haka Inde Ichinem has been against GBM. And when he came into power in 2022, GBM was arrested. And today he has been convicted. I don't look at this case as a case of fighting corruption. I look at this case as a case of fixing the opponent. Fixing the opponents just like Shitotela just like Chilangwa, just like JJ Banda, just like Campiongo, and many others that you can think of. Not forgetting Edgar Shagwalungo. The issue of HH is that whoever you know, stands in his way, whoever opposes him, he must face the wrath. Just like now, because John Sangwa went to court arguing to say, no, Edgar Lungo is not eligible. But the court ruled to say he is legible. And John Sangwa respected that. And now he's saying that you ruled. Stick to your judgment. They want to arrest Judge John Sangwa. They want to arrest Alec Banda. Uh, Archbishop Alec Banda. Archbishop Dr. Alec Banda. Anyone who stands in the way of Waka Inde Ichilema must face the wrath. We pray that this situation does not go uh, worse than what it is. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mutati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Ati ubu shikofu fu ilen sofu, nedi ya shiri bako di an sofu. Ubu shikofu fu ilen sofu, nedi ya shiri bako di an sofu. Today we have GBM, uh, you know, jailed for five years. And um, I'm sure, of course, uh, <laughs> we have got different uh, opinions about uh, about all these things. I'm sure some of you, uh, a priest singer, you are celebrating, you are even saying, no, 
uh, HH is not, is not the magistrate, is not the police, whatever, whatever. So uh, it looks like you know the the jailing of the convicting and sentencing of GBM looks justified to some of you. But I say no. From my point of view, I, I say no. I say that this is all retribution. This is all about fixing the opponents of Haka in the Hichinema. And though all those that stood, uh, you know, in his way to become president, all those that he uh, turned against him, we are still being fixed. We are still being fixed. And he's going to fix us. He's going to fix us. A number of you are, you know, are going in jail. You will go in jail. You will lose your properties. And these are some of the things that I used to speak about before I engaged in Nema went into power. And even after he went into power, I was talking about it, some of these things. Of course, I did support Haka in the Ichinema in the 2021 general elections. Some of you, uh, to my young people, you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. I played a very big role in Haka in the Ichinema being in State House today. I played a very big role in Haka in the Ichinema being in State House. I, I, I contributed. I contributed bigly. I contributed bigly to have Haka in the HDMI in State House. You don't know. You just don't know. But I'm telling you, I did contribute big time. I did contribute big time to have Haka in the HDMI in State House. Of course, I was hoping that, you know, after being in opposition for such a long time, I mean, the man will be different. But unfortunately, no, no, he's not different. But anyway, Mostly, why GBM is also behaving, oh, why Haka in the HDMI is behaving the way he is doing, it is because he has failed. It is, he is threatened. You know, a snake, um, a snake uh, in itself, just a snake as a snake, it is not dangerous, trust me. A snake in it, just itself is not, is not dangerous. It is, a snake is dangerous when it feels threatened. A snake is dangerous when it feels threatened. And this is the situation. Haka in the Ichidema feels threatened. He feels his power is losing it. He's losing it. And now he's going out like he, a cobra, striking anyone that he or she, uh, that he thinks that, uh, uh, you know, they are standing in his way or they are contributing to him um you know being at the risk of losing power but i i say this it is not the individuals it's not us who are risking haka in the power it is in himself yeah these people it is in himself eh? it is in it is it is himself who is risking i mean losing power and he's going to lose power whether he intimidates us, whether he fixes us, he will lose power sooner than, you know, he... he uh, what's the problem? <sighs> Some of these people... Uh, when you block, when you say, no, I don't want to talk now, you stop. But they will keep calling. Ah. So, Haka Inde Ichilema, it's himself who is risking his power. How is he risking his power? He's risking his power by failing to deliver on the things that he promised. That's all. That's all. We are not a threat. I am not a threat to Haka in the Ichirema. I'm not a threat. Though I'm perceived as a threat number one. Enemy number one. To look at the ad. Eh, I'm perceived like that. But I am not a threat myself. I am, I am simply helping Haka in the Ichirema. If I told you was a person that knows leadership, he would have appreciated me by the fact that I am pointing out some of the things that he has failed to do, some of the things that he could do better. 
and if Aka in the was not a bitter person, was not an emotional person, some of us would have been working with him to help him in some of these situations because let's face it, it's not that uh, uh, everything is okay, you know, world over we have uh, uh, economic challenges, world over. So some of these things really, in all honesty, they are not purely dependent on Haka in the Ichirema. They are not as a result of Haka in the Ichirema. However, Haka in the Ichirema has exacerbated the situation because of his bad policies. Because of his bad policies. And of course his bitterness. Where, uh, where he could get help, unfortunately Haka in the Ichirema is not, is not utilizing those opportunities to get that help. Instead, for him, he wants to behave as is a, he knows it all. And all he wants are praises, that's all. For you to survive in Haka in the Hichirema's government, you have to be a praise singer. All those of you who are not praise singers, you are in problems. All those of you who are not praise singers, you are in problems. And many of you will go in. Eh? I know some people are saying, hey, it, next it is you, next it is you. Ineta mwakambone. Ineta mwakambone, ta mwakambone, ta mwakambone. I saw it. I saw it coming that mm -mm, the film we know into it. And uh, thank God, uh, let me not uh, forget also to appreciate, um, you know, some of the people that uh, helped me that came in. Imo Mwebandu, who helped me, I am very grateful because in Epanondeland, I'm sure I would have been in. I would, I would have been in. So why am I not? Uh, why am I not? Uh, because a lot of you, you want to think that this is a fight against corruption. Uh, uh, GBM has gone in because of his corruption act. The problem, talk about Zambia. The problem that we have in Zambia, most of us, we are lazy in you know trying to analyze issues. We are too basic. We are too apparent. Just what you are seeing, it's only today. What is happening today? That's it. That is that is it. For many Zambians, it's only what is happening today. You don't want to go, you know, a little bit deeper to understand how did this come about? Where did it start from? You don't want that. You don't want that. Many of you today, you have seen GBM, you know, being incarcerated. I don't know how many of you have tried to interrogate this case. Where is it coming from? How did it start? Many of you, you haven't. Many of you, you haven't. And many of you, you have short memories. In, I'm telling you that the jailing of, of GBM, the jailing of GBM, Lelo, Ukakakoka GBM, it is not about GBM being involved in corruption, no. And I'm not saying this because GBM is supporting, he was in, in PF, or GBM is somebody on Ariamu. Uh-uh, 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 it's not about that. We have got other cases as well. We have got other cases. We have got the cases of Chitotela. We have got the cases of Kampiongo. We have got the cases of uh, JJ Banda. We have got other cases which are still coming, which are in the pipeline, which many of them will end up in the GBM, Chitotela, Nixon, Chilangwa's situation. Many of them, many of them, because Haka in the HLM really wants to eliminate all potential challengers, all potential political risks. He wants to eliminate them. He wants to eliminate everyone that he thinks this one such that he can remain alone. That's what Aka in the wants. This case of, of, of GBM is nothing about fighting corruption. Because really, if you are fighting corruption, look, during the time of, during the, during the time of other presidents, we used to have people that were in government being interrogated by, by the investigative wings. We used to have people that were in government going to court defending themselves. We used to have that. But since Haka in the HDMA came into power, I mean, those that are close to him are protected. And mostly they are protected because mostly 
Many of these people who, who engage themselves in corruption, they do it on behalf of Waka in the HLM. So, Waka in the HLM finds it difficult to, um, at, at, at Interpo is watching, which Puba is watching at Chiandruke. Interpo is watching, yes. Interpo is watching, and I'm in a country which is the, uh, the headquarters of Interpo, if you must know. Headquarters of Interpo, that's where I am. <laughs> The headquarters of Interpol is in this country, and the head, I've even been there. I've even been there. Let me tell you, I've even been there to that Interpol headquarters. I've been cleared myself by the international community. I, they have seen that my cases are all politically motivated. So we prefer focus. Stop, stop wasting your time commenting at Interpol is watching. There is no Interpol that is going to bring you, that is going to bring me into the country. Me, I'm a recognized, you must know, recognized asylum seeker. I am a recognized asylum seeker. I'm a refugee, as it were. So, mule chulaf, not my cases to anyone thinking that whatever, whatever, So, the point I'm trying to, to, to tell you is that, GPM's case is not an issue of fighting corruption. Because if Haka and HLM was fighting corruption, there are a number of cases that we would have seen, you know, some of these people being arrested, which are very clear. Unfortunately, some of these cases, they involve Haka and HLM himself as well. They involve Haka and HLM himself. I can give you examples of some of these cases. One of the cases is that very KCM that you're talking about. There is, there is corruption there. You can talk about Mupane, there is corruption there. You can move away, you can move to the, 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 the dual carriageway, Ndola dual carriageway, Ndola Lusaka dual carriageway, there is corruption there. Well, you can go to the selling of uh, Zambif, buying uh, Zambif uh, farm, there is corruption there. The, the former MTN building, there is corruption there. A supply of fertilizer, you know, all the years that you can talk about, there is corruption there. Supply of fuel, there is corruption there. There is corruption in many institutions, many institutions. Unfortunately, we are not seeing these people being arrested. We are not seeing them. In the mines, in the mining, means of, means of mines, there is corruption there. But we are not seeing people being arrested. But this case of GBM, this case of GBM and other cases, because by the way, this is the first case that where you can say um, uh, somebody has been convicted according to the job, in the job that they were doing. This is the first case. This one is the first case where somebody, somebody has been convicted uh relating to the work that he was doing relating so to say in corruption this one this case it is the first case all these other cases that you talk about there is no corruption all these other cases that you you know when a campion go there is no corruption this is the first case but let's go back and look at this case where it started from because some of you you may you, you, you are not good at, you know, going back to, uh, uh, to analyze these issues. This issue, if you remember, this issue started during the time of Sata. This issue started during the time of Sata. Some of you, do you remember? Do you remember when Winter Kavimba and the GBM, they were fighting? They were jealous of each other. Winter Kavimba and the GBM, they were jealous of each other. By that time, GBM was the, was the defense minister. But Winter Kabimba was the uh, secretary general and the minister of justice, I think, at that point. Yes, minister of justice. And they were fighting because they were jealous of each other. So, uh, GBM was close to the Sata, you know. Uh, Winter Kavimba, actually the one who started this thing, Niba Winter Kavimba is the one who started. But Winter Kavimba is the one that started. Because well, Winter Kavimba was Secretary General and he, you know, uh, they didn't like, he didn't, he didn't seemingly like, you know, the access 
of GBM Kudiba Saita. He didn't like it. Okay? And GBM at that at that moment was uh, was gravitating towards the uh, Sosala, you know, the the current chief Chitimukulu. By that time, Chief Chitimukulu was uh, being denied to be installed as Chief Chitimukulu by Wasata. Okay? And GBM was gravitating towards, uh, had a soft spot for Wachitimukulu. And I don't know Wachitimukulu how he's going to behave on this instance anyway. Uh, I don't know because. I remember GBM really standing for Wachitimukulu in very difficult situation, you know. GBM was the only, he risked, GBM risked his relationship with the, with Vasata, you know, in support of, uh, in support of uh, Vasosala, you know, the current Chitimukulu. So GBM started, um, he, he was supporting Basosala, you know, and he risked that relationship that he had, a very good relationship between himself and Basata. And uh, Winter Kavimba wanted to, you know, to, took, an ad, took advantage of that situation, wanting to become, you know, a good good to Basata. And he lashed out on the GBM. Wanting a GBM to be fixed, wanting a GBM to be um, to be to be uh, to be fired as defense minister, so they started fighting between them. It is out of those fights that we heard of these cases that GBM has been uh, has been has been in case, has been convicted on. It is those times, and we are talking about cases, these cases, we are talking about 11 years ago. 11 years ago, because these cases, these cases started happening. They were happening in 2013. 2013, early 20, 2013. That's when these cases started. It was a fight, it is as a result of a fight between Winter Kavimba and GBM. And today, GBM has been convicted of those cases. So during the time when they were fighting, they started revealing themselves. But Winter Kavimba is the one who started, accused GBM of these cases that uh, uh, GBM has been convicted on. And the GBM in response also counter-reacted and accused the Winter Kavimba of being involved in a deal where Transfigura Eh, Transfigura was uh, Transfigura was awarded awarded a, a contract. Transfigura was awarded a contract by the Zambian government to supply petrol and diesel worth five hundred million dollars. Worth five hundred million dollars. Whilst my winter Kabimba was pointing at GBM, yeah, GBM has, is, has awarded himself contracts, see, Kuzesku and whatever, whatever. GBM was also accusing Winter Kabimba to have influenced the contract of Transfigura worth $500 million. This is where it started, 2013. 2013, that's where it started. And what happened? Both GBM and Winter Kabimba, they were called to anti-corruption commission. Both of them. If you remember Winter Kabimba when he went to anti-corruption commission, he went with he, he went with hooligans, he went with a horde of cadres, and they besieged the anti-corruption commission. But Winter Kabimba could not be interviewed by the anti-corruption commission because of the the, 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 the people that he went with. I think it was who was in charge that time. That, 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 there was a lady, I remember that, that, that lady. She's now part of the, the board. Eh? He couldn't be interviewed. It was hot those days. It was hot. Eh? They went and beseeched the, the whole uh, anti corruption commission there because of a winter coming back. You know, didn't want to be interviewed.
He didn't want to be interviewed. But GBM went quietly. Now, here is a difference. When these allegations came up, that time it was Sata who was president, we saw these two ministers going to anti-corruption commission. This, I'm telling you the differences. We saw these two Mr. ministers going to anti-corruption commission. And they were interviewed. And here is something. Uh, here is something. They were interviewed. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, these two were actually cleared. Winter Kavimba and the GBM, they were cleared by the Anti-Corruption Commission at that time, 20, 2013 itself. 2013, I think the case started around man, ma, February, and then around November, around November somewhere there, anyway, after some time, they were cleared by Anti-Corruption Commission. Some of you, you may, not, you may not know these things, and that's why I'm giving you a, a, a background of where these things started. Because I've told you that this is a retribution. It's not about fighting corruption. And I'm giving you this background so that you understand. From 2013, two ministers accusing each other, caught by Anti-Corruption Commission, and Anti-Corruption Commission cleared them. Anti-Corruption Commission cleared them. These cases where GBM has been convicted today and Corruption Commission cleared them. They even wrote to President Sata because Sata told them investigate these people. Okay? Investigate these people. Of course he was upset. He, he was upset when because when they started investigating uh, these ministers, they didn't ask Sata. They just he, he started investigating them. And Sata, if you remember, there was a time when you at when he was swearing in some people, he came and blasted them. Why are you investigating my ministers without telling me? But as he said that outside, behind, Sata wrote to the Anti-Corruption Commission to say, "Can you investigate this and let me know of the results?" You see, he came out in public because these were his friends. So he came out in public. No, Hey, why are you investigating? Why are you embarrassing me? You are whatever, 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 whatever. Because I think he was just playing politics. Because behind Sata wrote a letter to anti-corruption to investigate these, these, these buggers. And they were investigated. And after they were investigated, the conclusions, the investigation, they concluded and they wrote to Sata to clear them. And Sata again came out to say, anti-corruption has cleared them. So this is the difference. This is the difference. We are not seeing this kind of thing. Sata wrote, wrote, can you investigate these people? Afterwards, they investigated and they reported back. And I remember the biggest issue, Kuri, Kuri, Kuri GBM, was the fact that, yes, he awarded his company contract, but did he declare? And they found that actually he did declare. The Anti-Corruption Commission came out to say, was, uh, GBM declared, declared interest in, in the awarding of contracts. And, uh, well, he was cleared. That is the issue. So this issue that we are talking about today, GBM was cleared back then. And you can't say no because the PF was in power. No, because the president himself wrote to the Anti-Corruption Commission to say, Hello, can you give me a report on these people? And I'm very sure if the Anti-Corruption Commission had found a case, they would have recommended to say these people, whatever answer that would have fired them. Would have fired them. You remember me? I mean, I'm, hey, can, I, can I remember? You remember Chitotera? Chitotera was fired by Wasad. Chitotera was fired by Wasad. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, so Sata was not tolerating, and Chitotera was also very close to Kuri Wasad, but he was fired when he bought, uh, uh, you know, some ambulances which they said. You know, they were new, but they were second-hand and whatever, whatever. And Chitotela was fired. 
as a result, because Sat again wrote, can you investigate this man? When they investigated and they said, no, these vehicles they bought, they were not new. I think Katushinya, my ambulances or my grader, whatever, anyway, he was fired. I'm mentioning that just to tell you that Sata was not favoring people. He's not, he was, these are people that were fighting corruption for real, not the nonsense that we are seeing with Baaka in the HDM. So GBM and Winter coming, but they were, they were spared, they were cleared. And that is how GBM continued. And later on, he came and resigned over the issue of social. GBM was not fired. He resigned over the issue of Basosara because he was supporting Basosara. He was supporting Bachitimukuru. And this is why I'm saying, I don't know what Bachitimukuru is going to, to do now and what he's going to say. Because here is a man that, you know, lost it all. Lost it all, you know, to, to stand with him. Anyway, from there, 20, this is 2013. GBM after Basatabafwa, 2014 Basatabafwa, GBM having had resigned from PF, uh, uh, tried to be by by Edgar Lungu tried to reconcile with him, he refused, and he joined, he joined UPND and became vice president. So, this is 2013. In 2014, 2014, 2015, 2014 itself anyway, 2014, GBM joined UPND and became the vice president. So, if you are talking about corruption, if really this Haka uh, uh, Hichilema has been standing, you know, has been standing tall in fighting against corruption, this case happened in 2013, why did Haka Ichirima come and appoint GBM as, as, uh, uh, as, as, as vice president? He appointed him as vice president and they ran the 2015 presidential by-elections as running mates. He ran as a running mate, GBM. Okay, he ran as a running mate. And at that time, because you remember, GBM now is in UPND. Though P, the PF, they were busy now attacking GBM, eh, attacking GBM. And Haka Inde Ichirema was busy defending GBM. He was busy defending GBM on everything. But UPND, remember, praise singer today, who are celebrating that GBM has been incarcerated, or has been convicted. You were busy defending GBM. By you PND, you accuse us, you may accuse us, hey, whatever, 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 whatever. By you PND, you ate more money of GBM than the PF. GBM went and poured all his money in UPND. GBM lost his money in UPND. He went out all. He went out all. Oh, a lot of you by, 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 by UPND, you were even you were even happy with you were even happier with the GBM than with the, with uh, Haka in the HDM. Because GBM was giving whilst the HH was not giving. GBM grew support in UPND. You GBM grew support in in, in throughout the country, by the way. But mostly GBM took uh, UPND to the northern part. Haka in the Ichirema, for him to have a rally, it was during the time of GBM. That's when he went and had the first rally. Where he was saying, Because GBM really organized the, uh, you know, the northern part. GBM today, Haka Inde Ichirima would not be in State House today had it not been for GBM. Mwewa Alienda Lama, if you are talking about proceed of crime, Mwewa Alienda Lama Shakwa GBM ni Mwewa Uba UPND. Mwewa Alienda Lama Shakwa Yumchakusha, proceed of crime, if it is proceed of crime, ni Mwewa Haka Inde Ichirima. Because GBM, whatever money that he made in business, 
He pulled it in UPND. He pulled it in UPND. Avena Mucherik, you are there, Mucherik. You were with GBM. You are the people that were working with GBM. You worked so hard with GBM. And all that, there was no issue of corruption. There was no issue of corruption. And indeed, let's imagine if UPND had won that election. If UPND had won that election. Do you think GBM would be, would be, would be in prison today? If UPND had won that election, do you think you, GBM would be in prison today? No. Do you think Imova Press singers who are now celebrating that GBM is inside that? Do you think you would be saying what you are saying today? And let's just imagine if he, uh, GBM did not move back to, UP, to, to PF. If he didn't move back, do you think GBM would be, would be in prison today? The answer is no. He, GBM is being fixed. Because actually GBM almost took over UPND because a lot of people liked GBM. And Haka in the Ichirima felt threatened. He felt threatened and he organized a coup. He organized, he organized a coup to remove GBM. That central committee that went and voted against GBM. They kicked out GBM. Haka in the Ichirima kicked out GBM of, from UPND. Because GBM was becoming more popular, more liked, because he was Arguetta, GBM Taku Atakaso. GBM Taku Atakaso. And that kind of HM felt threatened. That's how GBM was removed. What did GBM do in UPND for you to organize that coup in that central committee which voted against him? What did he do? What case did he do? Nothing. It is all because Haka in the HM was threatened. And that's how he kicked him out. And when he kicked him out, GBM, that's when GBM went back now. Inshaire, he went back to PF. And from that time on, Haka in the has been bitter against GBM. And he has been looking for an opportunity to fix him. And this is the time GBM has been fixed. And he has been fixed on what? He has been fixed on charges on which he was cleared by the anti-corruption commission tapadi if you are going to finish up tapadi gbm has just been fixed because haka in the hlm wanted him to be to fix it and you must know this case was determined was determined not by the courts it was determined a long time ago some of the evidence some of the evidence, the, the, you know, the court could not even take it. There were letters that were written by Sata to say, no, he has been cleared by whatever, whatever. Some of these evidence could not be admitted. The case was flouted. And today, you can all check, you can all check. The time that they were announcing, they were sentencing GBM to five years, I had already posted that GBM was going in for five years. We had already known that GBM was going in for five years. People were busy calling me, hey, you know, but the case, whatever, whatever, I didn't pull it down. You can check the time that the, 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 the magistrate rendered his, 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 his sentence. You can check the time, and you can check the time that I posted. Because we knew, we had information that State House had wanted him to go for five years, just like they wanted five years for me. They wanted five years for me. There was a five years on my on my head. They wanted five years. They wanted me inside until after the 2026 general elections. That's what they wanted. And even with GBM, they said GBM has to go in five years is to make sure that GBM is out of the way for 2026 general elections and GBM doesn't have, you know, uh, any money, doesn't bring in any money. As you could see that GBM could not be allowed to go out of the country because they know that GBM had moved his businesses outside the country. So they were blocking GBM to go out so that he doesn't access his money. And even this time around, Haka in the is scared of GBM. He knows 
the political strength that GBM has. GBM has political strength even during the time of Wasata. GBM did so much. GBM is a political giant and of course a financial giant. And that has been a threat on Haka and HDM. And from the time that they separated, Haka and HDM made sure he has been looking for an opportunity to fix GBM. So you can say whatever you want. This is not an issue of corruption. This is about Haka and HDM fixing GBM. And clearly, like I've told you, this case started in 2013. Why did Haka Inde appoint GBM to be to be uh, to be vice president? Okay, if there was an issue of corruption. Yes, you come, you can come and say no, eh, but he's not an investigator. Eh, whatever. GBM was arrested in 2022, by the way. He's one of the first people to be arrested. <laughs> if you follow, GBM is one of the first people to be arrested. Haka Inde came into power in 20, uh, 20, 2021. 2021, towards the end, August, September. 2022, GBM was arrested. Because I saw some of you people are saying, no, but this case started in PF. Uh -uh. GBM was arrested in 2022 together with his nephew. Together with his nephew. Firstly, they charged them together. Then they separated them. The nephew was convicted. After the nephew was convicted, now he's on bond. I think he was charged about 100 and the chakut, 150 or some 150,000, I think, uh, bail pending whatever, whatever. So he's out, but he was convicted. And now today, GBM. So this is the story. The whole story is nothing, is nothing but, you know, somebody, somebody fixing GBM, fixing his opponents. And he's fixing his opponents. He's fixing them. Look at the case of Campion. How do you explain the case of Campion? I mean, the poor wife. The poor wife, she's inside today. But really, the source of the of, of the of the money or whatever she owns was Campion. But somehow, somehow, they want to, they know that there are no cases here, but they had to fix Campion in a way. Look at Abena Chitotera and Chirangwa. I mean, you, you can talk about political violence, come on. Political violence, you are talking about political violence. No, they, they damage the vehicle and whatever, whatever, whatever. We have got people that killed a person like Kungo in broad daylight. Broad daylight, Kungo was killed. We have got people that were beaten in southern province. You remember where they were beating people indiscriminately in southern province? Soldiers had to go there to protect people. So, if when you talk about this, I'm not saying that I'm justifying, you know, violence is violence. But really, when it is okay with Haka in the HDMI, when you are okay with Haka in the HDMI, you are unblemished. You are unblemished. But when you are against Haka in the HDMI, it doesn't matter how clean you may be. It doesn't matter how clean you may be like me. Because me, I'm a clean guy. Me, I'm a clean guy. You don't hear me in all this nonsense. You don't. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They will charge you for speaking the truth on social media. They will charge you for it. It is about fixing anyone that is perceived to be, you know, threatening, to be a threat to our kind of HDMI. Anyone who is seen to be a threat to Aka in the HDM. You are only spared if you are a prison. Vawinta Kavimba, that's why Vawinta Kavimba, you know, I don't talk too much about Vawinta Kavimba. This case that has seen the GBM inside, it is as good as his case of influencing a contract here, 500 million to Transfigura. Because how do you, how do you, how, how do you explain it? They accused each other. GBM accused Vawinta. Vawinta accused, accused GBM. Today GBM has gone in. Why is Vawinta uh, uh, outside? Because as far as I'm concerned, really, I mean, Vawinta should also be followed on that one. If it is going by the same standard. Because Transfigura, yes, for real, for real, Transfigura was awarded the contract by, by whatever. And I'm one of those people that used to speak about this issue.
There was also even a PF company that was formed by the winter uh, to be supplying to be supplying fuel. So if you look at uh, whatever, but the winter, you know, because he, him he has, uh, has seen that uh, interfere win. So sometimes when you are seeing people like the winter talking, uh, you know, trying to justify the 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 you should understand them. Because if they don't do that, if a winter don't, doesn't do that, he would face the same fate of a GBM. For you to survive, you need to go to, you need to go to, to, to uh, uh, you need to go to, to work in the uh, Even a Frank Ward, you can find no, from nowhere, he can, be, he can be fixed. So the only way is to survive is to go this side. Eh? Uh, Unfortunately, some of these people they are too crooked, like Wakelvin Guaria Sampa, is too too crooked. But otherwise, I mean Kelvin Sampa, imagine Kelvin Sampa if he had also not jumped. I mean he would have gone because this man, Kelvin Sampa has been a crook from a long time. He would have been in a long uh, very 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 early. You know. So this is the situation, it's all about fixing. Look at the Chitotela. Eh? Look at Chitotela. Look at Chilangwa. Look at the... Uh, what is this this guy? Who you... Uh, JJ Banda. Surely, my brothers and sisters, even if you are praying singers, you can clearly see these issues. But I can tell you that all these cases that you are dealing with, they are nothing compared to the corruption that is currently going on. There are nothing compared to the con to the corruption that is currently going on, and how I wish we Zambians could be more focused and talking about this corruption which is currently going on. But we get excited, we get distracted by pettiness of fifteen flats yaba 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 estalungu. We get excited, but really compare that fifteen flats, compare it losing losing uh, Mopani to people that you don't even know. We have lost Mopani as an asset. We Zambians have lost it. What have we gotten out of it? Look at KCM. Look at the Duke, Duke carriage. Look at the toll gates. Look at the toll gates. The toll gates that were not built by Haka in they have been given in private hands. All corruption. All corruption. And you praise singer, you want to, you want, you want to praise Haka in the Ichilema. What is Haka in the Ichilema doing apart from taking advantage of our country? They are, they are, they, they are stealing from our country. They are taking our assets. It is really, really sad. And today you want to celebrate GBM's arrest, GBM's conviction. It is all about fixing GBM made a mistake and you see this is one of the things you know a lot of us went to gb to 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 work in the ichilema and we sang praises i remember by gbm the way i was arguing about haka in the ichilema i used to argue with a gbm over sata because what i say out it outside even in private i'll tell you but gbm i mean he's my brother and I've benefited a lot from a GBM. At one point, a GBM put me on a kasara, the three, three pin value every month a GBM. So I have so much respect a GB, with a GBM. But mungu anda mungu wa mdara, ni njifika mungu anda mungu wa mdara. Na alewa tarika pari haka inda ichile. Na alewa tarika. And you will argue, mungu anda mungu ya wu. Even in his office, I would go to his office mdara, ni njifika office kuma, but still more I would argue with him. And he would tell me, and you all know, at one point, he even had to insult me over it. You remember the video that I posted? GBM is passionate. GBM has contributed heavily to Haka in the HDMI's presidency. He has contributed heavily. He was so passionate. He did everything. Even, you know, insulting a friend, his friend like me. I was a confident of our GBM. A confident to have a GBM, but GBM, you know, and he is he's a very good man, but GBM, very good man, and a very good leader for that matter. Because what GBM 
I remember, even in my little whatever, my little corner, before he would make a decision, he would call me. He would call me. The wife would be my wit would be my witness. He would call me. He would engage me. And Tolanda, 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 he would call the wife. This is what Tayari says. What do you what do you think? That is how a GBM was, but that is a leader, that is leadership. Because he was humble like that. And so what I'm telling you, these are issues that I know I'm well informed about. He was passionate. This issue there and that in the Lama, Mdala, Alice in the Matranks, Ukuya in the Lama, Kafumian in the Lama, Kafumian in the Lama. GBM, Haka in the was not giving GBM money to campaign. GBM spent more money, GBM spent more money on UPND than Haka in the HM. I can assure you that. You talk about Haka in the HM being rich, Haka in the HM being rich, but I can tell you that if there is somebody who spent more money in UPND is GBM. GBM a broker of UPND. Lero GBM mwa mukaka. Because according to Waka Indi Ichilema, GBM is a threat. E Philip Wapa. Not never about your corruption, corruption, nothing. It is about fixing, fixing GBM. And a number of them will be fixed. A number of them will be fixed. I know. And this is Haka in the, this is the modus operandi of Haka in the Ichilema. The modus operandi of Haka in the Ichilema is that anyone who threatens or who comes in his way of whatever he wants to do, for him is to fix. For him is to fix. I told you before, I said, very soon to Atam Pokula Very soon to Atam Pokula How many people have disappeared during the time of... Uh, 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 during the time of uh, of GBM, some of these people, of course, you might not see really the connection very well. But today, I'm telling you like that this boy, Wakunen Kelly, Uyumwa Echo Waku Waku National Airport Corporation, Uyumwa Echo, his death is suspicious. Don't just take it for granted that no, Alikweten Kongole, whatever, whatever, what the, the police are saying. That is nonsense. I'm telling you. That boy, there is something because that boy knew a lot about what was happening in that God scam issue. He knew a lot, that boy. That boy was one of the key witnesses of what was happening. He didn't take him whatever, but no, he had parking in the papa presidential, whatever, whatever. That boy knew about all these issues. He disappeared the next day at no. Eh, adequating Congole, a bottle of doom, whatever, whatever, whatever. The same thing that they wanted to do with GB, with the JJ Banda. When JJ Banda disappeared, boom, eh, he left a, a, a note. This is the same thing that they have done with that boy. Uh, you need to be very, very careful. We need to be very, very careful. And even as we are going further, these disappearances and the people. People dying mysteriously will continue. People dying mysteriously will continue. You don't have to be in the way of Haka in the HDMI. You don't have to be. The moment you are in the way, somewhere, somehow, you have to be fixed. Look at G. Johnson. Information in them, I don't bring out information. And yeah, we know we know. A good example, ni pari kesi ya kwa GBM. Na Chilanda in that very five years before the Bara Ruling and Opening, because I was told that State House had been instructed that GBM must go in for five years. I posted it, some of you were saying, No, hey, hey, boom, it happened exactly because my information is accurate in Dara. That's why I'm even here. That's why I'm even here. Even these people who are around here, I know there are people who are in this country wanting to fix me. I know already. It's the same thing I'm telling you about John Sango. John Sango, they are conniving to arrest him. I leaked it out so that Veshibe, and that's how you saw, some of you saw it playing around on social media, but I didn't post it on my page because I was not very sure and whatever, whatever, but at the end of the day, I have confirmed this evening that they want to arrest uh, John Sango. They want to fix John Sango. HH is very upset by that uh, 
uh, in 2010 that he had podcast that he had is very upset because he clearly explained that yes i was a lawyer who actually went to court to say ed galungu is not eligible i was a lawyer who went to court and argued that ed, ed, ed galungu is not eligible but unfortunately the court as it as it were it is composed of human beings who can make mistakes who can even be compromised but once they pass a judgment that judgment must stay even if it, the judgment is made in an in error that judgment must be respected especially a judgment that is done at the highest court at a court of finality that they could like the concord the case of uh, in the, uh, of, of edgar Lung was was determined at the at the highest court the concord a court of finality it was decided whether that judgment was in error as they were saying or what eh, at equation whether it was in error or whatever the issue is that a judgment was passed i see a number of upnd cadres you know coming on this show and some of them there was even another guy who was texting me no court decided that gbm eh, uh, sorry edgar lungu was eligible no court no court i don't know where you get that you you praise singers that is if you remember that no over zombie imito shenu chari fuasa because you keep repeating this to say there's no court that declared that uh, uh, edgar lungu is eligible i don't know where you get that i don't know because this case has been in court and it has been decided we had that otios first of all and when we had that otios and people said no what do you mean by otios we we have to go back until you pronounce your, the, your, yourselves and the court pronounced itself but you you hear cadres shamelessly stupidly so phoning in the program and saying no there is no uh, what nonsense is that and so john sangwa came out and they said i was the lawyer who went to court and the court ruled to say he's eligible he's eligible i didn't like it but they made the judgment they made the judgment and since they made the judgment as a court of finality we cannot go back now because haka in the is in power we can't go back to say can you rewrite the judgment because because it's like what haka in the is doing is that i was not happy with the judgment that you gave when i was when i was in opposition so you need to undo that is what haka in the is doing i was not happy with the way you judged on this matter when i was in opposition now i'm president can you change it and give me a judgment that i wanted that is what is happening that is what is john sang was talking about here we haka indechilema is going back on the cases that he lost he's going back because he's president he's going back to have those judgment rewritten that is what uh, haka indechilema is doing and that is what john sang is doing he, that is what John Sangwa has explained that we cannot do that because when you do that I mean I will become president as well uh, everything should be rewritten another one will become president everyone should be rewritten so where is the independence of the judiciary where is the independence of the judiciary where is the respect of our court of our courts if we are going to be doing that where is the integrity of our courts that is the argument of john sangwa which he wanted even to argue in court and he was told no sit down we don't need to hear you whatever you have written which is not which is not even necessary we don't because clearly the court you could see that the court has been formed to go in that direction to bar edgar chagwalung and john sangwa is saying no and because of that, Haka in the once Johnson were arrested, today, today in the morning, they were busy talking, they were busy consulting each other. 
what can we arrest him on? What can they want something that they can arrest John Sangwa on? And if, you will see. Just like it, foolish people are also conniving, trying to find a way of arresting a Bishop who, Archbishop who, uh, Alec, Alec Banda. Some fools on, on what on, on, over the weekend they were conniving, trying to see, to see how they can uh, arrest the uh, Alec Banda. Hakai Nechlem has lost it. Hakai Nechlem has lost it. And these people I'm talking about. If they want to rescind, you will see them being arrested. You will see the Alec Banda being 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 called. And yet, really, I mean, what what is it? What are they calling him for? This is Hakai Nechlem. This is dictatorship. Ile kula, ile ile kula, ile ile kula. And you people don't realize it. Look at the way they are tinkering with the constitution. The, the way they are tinkering with the constitution to change the constitution is nothing but to, to strengthen the dictatorship of Haka in the Ichima. That's what they are doing. They want to make sure they change the constitution such that it fits in Haka in the Ichima's idealistic view of how a leader should be and how long he should stay in power. They want to change the electro, uh, our electoral code of conduct so that, you know, they can easily manipulate the elections. Zambians, I'm telling you, we are in for a big trouble. And you praise singers who think that, no, you are safe. I can assure you, no shalimu akabamu. Instead of looking at, you know, economic issues, you are not. Look, people are still fighting for FRA. People have not been paid. Instead of Haka Inde Ichilema concentrating on that, FRA has not paid people. Look, we are already, you know, in planting season. They haven't been paid. Fertilizer, farming inputs are not in the country. I mean, those bags, uh, at six bags, you are going to give 40 people. What can that do? These are issues that we're supposed to be talking about. Issues of electricity, these are issues that we should, we should be talking about. But Haka Inde Ichirema is busy trying to strengthen his dictatorship. And some of you, you are supporting it. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.